sitting here with my homeboy, King Wesley. What up, though? Yeah, man. You know, first of all, I want to start off by saying thanks, man. Thanks for taking this interview. Man, I appreciate it, man. Because, uh, you know, the month of February, I said I was going to promote entrepreneurs and uh, black business owners. And, you know, I know you're an entrepreneur, uh, pursuing your acting career. So, I just want to start off by saying thanks, man. Can we listen? Listen. First mm -hmm. thing, let me, let me let me talk to you. Uh, I know this your show. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and I know what we trying to do. Mm -hmm. But as much as this being an interview or and just really us, just really us, just vibing vibe, and tapping right. in, get off that nervous shit. I ain't nervous. I, no, I just want to make sure it's right. You know, it, it, it's right. See, we go back. We go back twenty years. That's what dog. He he on my head already. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm proud of you, man. I I I I want to first say um, I'm proud of you and what you're doing, and uh, it's good to you know know somebody that's out here doing something, man. And uh, like I said, a lot of people be thanking people and talking about them after they're gone. But I want I want to tell you why you're here, man. I, I'm really proud of you. Yeah, and uh, that's big. And uh, you know, you solid wanna, dude. Dog. You're one of the very few people that do that, though. What's like, that? Like like like. Don't have a problem with complimenting. Don't no, have a problem no, with giving a man they roses or whomever they no, roses. No. Like, that's what's up, man. Granny taught me that, man, at a young age, you know. Uh, but like I said, man, I, I really appreciate you taking this interview. So we're going to kick it off. Uh, let everybody know your name and w what you do, man. Man, I am King Wesley. I am from the city of Detroit. I am a full-time actor. I'm an activist. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a dad. I'm a a husband, you know what I'm saying. I'm a homeboy. I'm a, you know, I'm I'm learning. I'm, I'm any and everything that you want me to be. <laughs> be that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man of many faces. Uh, I know. Um, King coming up in coming up in Detroit, man. Honestly, what inspired you to uh, become an actor? Ah, uh, man. I'm. I was raised by my grandma, mm -hmm. like like solely. Um. My mom, she was she was definitely in the picture. She was definitely heavily involved, hands on. Like she didn't just just leave me with my grandma or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, my my mom, she had you know two older kids, and she was into her her life at the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Granny, she was I was just hand, she she left me with Granny. And I was hand, she was just really hands on with me. So. Well, grandmas, you know, grandmas had them TV shows they used to watch. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The Younger the Wrestlers. All my God, children. like all my children, uh -huh. the Cosbys. And um, uh -huh. even on, on, on Fridays and Saturdays, it was just like different little sitcoms she used to watch. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like Family Ties. Um, I found me like in... Uh, uh, what was the Steve Urkel show? What was that? It was that oh, Family yeah. Ties. Family it was, Ties. It, yeah. it was or uh, whatever, right? Uh -huh. and, and like shows like Webster, Different Strokes, yeah. um, Facts of Life, oh, yeah, like sitcom. like little sitcoms, uh -huh. things. I used to like really rush home from school just to absorb and watch all these shows. Mm -hmm. Even the reality shows back then that the kids had, like Fun House. Sesame Street, stuff like Sesame that. Sesame Street, yeah. Daredevil. Remember, I don't, see, a lot of people may not remember these shows. Just come on. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. Hey, that's I'm all right. Telling I, I just look this way. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, um, like, all those shows, man, they um, they used to, like, provide me an escape, mm -hmm. in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Me growing up in the urban, uh, the city of Detroit off Dexter, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, it was a lot of other things that I could have indulged in at, at you know at a real young age. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So those was those were my escapes. You know what I'm saying? So and I was cool with kicking it with grandma. Right. You know what I mean? So but when I realized I was like really heavily interested in acting, back then we used to catch a lot of reruns. Mm -hmm. And I I would notice how my memory was and when I would see certain episodes come on and how I just remembered the lines. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of us did that, like, especially with, like, movies like Friday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With, with uh... Our uh, special uh, uh, part come on. We yeah, we know we can hit... Say it back. We can the you know, yeah. When you gonna let me hit Miss Parker? Yeah, like, yeah, certain yeah. things. But I, I started to notice, like, I was remembering the whole episode. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I knew the timing... And it, that just, it, I didn't really know what to do with it or who, whom to really talk to about it. So I really kind of kept it within. Mm. 
Okay, my man. But that's how it started. That's how it started. So now this this one this came from me. I wanted to ask this question for myself. Who is your favorite actor? Favorite actor, Denzel. Everybody say Denzel. Yeah, that's my. That, well, that's one. Al Pacino, my first favorite, but Denzel, my second. The reason why every, the reason why he's my favorite for me is because he comes from the theater life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my first acting gig was a stage play. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's it wasn't a movie. Oh, I thought it was. A I didn't. Movie. I didn't get into movies. <clears throat> excuse. Me, until like 2013. Okay. Okay. Uh, 2008, 2009, I got uh, a cast for my first stage play, which was entitled Diamond Girls. Oh, okay. Okay. Right? And that, it was at that point, I had never went to an audition. I never had, I came home, I took a class over in Royal Oak, but I wasn't really like, they didn't really, the teacher, I don't know if she just wasn't ready for what I brought. But she told me, she was like, you don't got to be here. Oh, wow. She, she's like, you, she's like, I'm not just going to take your money. It's just 600, whatever much. Or I know it was like $600. She was like, no, nah, I'm going to give you this money on the back. And what I'll do is I offer you like some one-on-one -on -one training. You know what I'm saying? But like this beginner's course. She knew it was past that. She, she, yeah, yeah. She, she, she kind of like, she saved me. You know what I'm saying? She could have got me. She could have got over on me. You know mm. what I'm saying? But yeah, so that's how I started. Denzel. Denzel. He started. He started it from theater. Theater. It allows you to like master the craft a little mm -hmm. bit more uh, keenly, like really keen and into the craft. Because once you do a play, and when you when you perform it up there, there's no retakes. Right. You got to. I can't say. Oops. <laughs> Let's run it Take back. It no, right. You got to go through. You give them is what you give them. You know okay. what I'm saying? So. Um, a lot of a lot of a lot of film directors they like working with theater trained actors. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, because it's natural. Definitely. All right, uh, King, we're gonna get into it. Uh, when did you realize acting was for you? Like, when, what what light click? Let's say what m movie you was in, or what made you feel like okay, this is it, this is what I'm about to do. Um, right at that moment. It was definitely when I realized that I would actually, it wasn't, I, I think I was, I don't know if I was on a, yeah, I was on a movie set mm -hmm. and I didn't get paid much, mm -hmm. but I wasn't even tripping about the pay. When I realized, hey, you know, this is something I love to do mm -hmm. and even at the that moment when 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 that director, which was the creator and the writer at the time, told me like, "Bro, you killing it," you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, when I could have like, you know how sometimes people get the local mentality of they made it because mm -hmm. somebody one person that they've been wanting to work with tell them how good they are, yeah. and they I could have like asked for more money, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. When I realized that I would actually do this. For the love. Free? Yeah, for the love. That's when I knew I was really in my passion. And then somebody else helped me understand when you have a passion, you have a love for your passion, um, you you that's when you know you're really in it. Mm -hmm. And that's that was that's my homeboy, uh Joe Smith. He's a um a tattoo artist. He he's done all my work. Mm -hmm. Um I've seen him like just do like he did all my work for free. Damn. Like, and this is over like Hours and hours of work, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he told me, he's like, bro, it's just, I love to do this. this you know what I'm saying? Good. And I was working with him, and he would have me, like, pricing his work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was Mike, I was really managing his shop, getting more money that he was not getting for himself. So, you know what I'm saying? Just because he liked doing it. He yeah, he was like, bro, he's like, and I know I, I underappreciate I under myself. So it was like I was kind of I was managing him shop, but I was actually managing him mm -hmm. as well. So that's when I started to understand, like when you got a love and a passion for something, it really is. That's when you know that you doing what you love, love to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what kicked me off with the say Detroit man. I get a kick out of doing it. it, it it's a thrive. It's a, yeah. I wake up thinking about it. You hit a you hit a key point on that. Um, okay, King. Another question. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know Detroit is a, well, I know acting 
is a real competitive thing, right? Yeah. It's just like basketball or whatever. What make King West stick out from the other new up and coming actors? I go, don't nobody go as hard as me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what, what, I, what I mean by that is, I bring more than just acting to the project. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I bring uh, a, a, a third eye mm -hmm. in a sense, heart, passion. Mm -hmm. um, I take I take direction like extremely well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I might take it a little over, maybe a little bit more farther than what the actual director that I'm working with would even actually want me to do. Like, oh, so they be telling you what they what they want you to do on the set of yeah, so, yeah. The director they're gonna tell you what they want to see, but they're not gonna tell you how to do it. Oh, okay. You see what okay. I'm saying? Like, that's not the that's not the director's job. The director's job is just this is the visual. This is what we're gonna bring. This is what. You got to do like you know what I'm saying. It's up to you as the actor to make the the the, the decisions. Oh, okay. okay when you okay. commit into okay. when you commit like when you go into a scene, you have to um, first when you get the script, you got to break it down, right? Mm -hmm. You got to really know your purpose. I'm talking about before you even know your lines. You got to mm -hmm. know the per your purpose in the scene. What's your goal in the scene? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it, just a prime example, me walking in, I'm knowing I'm doing an interview, but what's the goal? Like. The goal is, I know John is asking me about, he's going to ask me something about acting, right? Because this is what he knows that I do. Dude. So my goal is to leave here knowing that I gave the audience on each one of these three cameras everything that they want to know about why I get up and I do what I do daily. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, so you was already running that through your mind. This, you this is, this is, this is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like seriously, it, this is, this is entertainment. We got a camera up. We got you. You you got a script. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And I'm I'm acting like this is really this is really what they call improvisation. And it, oh, it, it, okay. it's okay. it's it's a skill set that I'm comfortable with. You know what I'm saying. I, I, answering questions is definitely improv. You okay. know what I'm saying. Right. It's okay, my man. That's why we like relax, bro. Yeah, we gonna, exactly. we're gonna have fun. You know what I'm saying. Right. Like the more relaxed that you are. The more believable that your audience takes you, and they like, you know what? I want to dial in his movies. I want to tap into his what his next project is. I want to just keep it going. You know what right. I'm saying? Like that's that's what makes everything more about. Hey, Ken, you a natural man? I'm dog. You, <laughs> my dog a natural. But you know something else? You yeah, know yeah. All the life. <laughs> my whole life. Okay, um, we go. We gonna keep. Hey, I got. I got to get into it. Yeah. Um. Okay. What were some of the obstacles you came and encountered um, pursuing your acting career? Like, what was some of the pitfalls or obstacles you came across? Um, obstacles, really, more so just just me in my head, me mm -hmm. wanting to be further than what I am now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, what that does is. It, it 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 really tampers. It would tamper. It it tampers with your confidence, mm -hmm. and being an actor, and being believe a believable actor, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta have the confidence. You gotta have the confidence, right? And and if you don't feel like, hey, you know what? Damn. What if what if it's one day, even though they don't make this man do this anymore, but what if one day I'm up against Denzel, right, mm -hmm. for a role? Right, they don't make him audition no more. Right, right, right. he don't have to. Right. But let's just say hypothetically that was a situation, mm -hmm. and it's between me and Denzel. Do I gracefully bow out? No, <laughs> you from the D anyway. So but, but, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying is, do I gracefully bow out? Because I'm like, man, this is Denzel yeah. is my right. This 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 is my idol. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? No, you you step up like Kobe. You talk your shit like Kobe. Yeah. Whether you believe you're going to hit the shot or not, you still got to step up. Ball. Guess what? Your confidence and your swag and your aura is going to keep you in the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, something that I had to overcome, right? Okay. Because I lost moms and I lost a lot of people, like, right in the brinking and birthing of my career, I had to really dig down and find the confidence. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people wouldn't even know that. Because they'd be like, oh, that's, oh, your work is great, but I don't. Dog, yeah. my confidence was shot. Mm. My confidence. I would have never knew that, though. I mean, you don't carry it. Bro, listen. 
Listen, mm -hmm. even, listen. Your homeboy name is King. Yeah, mm -hmm. you call me West, but how many King? How many you? I can't really <laughs> have you have a homeboy named King, King that's not confident. Confident, right? You right. see what I'm saying? Like yeah. that really just don't make sense. Like so, I had to really just use the belief that the people had in me mm. to re even rebirth my confidence. Your confidence. That's D. That's D. Uh, okay, King. Let me ask you this one. This for the viewers. This one for the viewers. What's that? Um, if you had a chance to work with anybody in the industry, who would you be your? Who would you want to work with? Who would you want to start a movie with? Do I have a? Do I? Do I? Have, man or woman? Men, a, a woman? Man and women. Yeah, man. Man or woman? Okay. Um. Right now, I'm. Let me go right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Right now, who's hot? I definitely. I definitely want to work with Fifty. Mm -hmm. on, on a project, I don't know if I, I don't know if it's going to be with him acting in it, but I he's I, I want him attached to the project somehow. To some, okay. Yeah, um, I definitely want to work with my homeboy Justice Secor. Mm -hmm. Um, Joe, he's his energy is so magnetic. Like, um, even as a person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. When I first met him, he kind of he. When he found out I was an actor, because you know our mutual homeboy didn't even like we he didn't edify me as this until like later in the evening. Oh, he was just like this, my homeboy. Blah, yeah, blah. yeah, yeah. And then like later in the evening, when everything was cool, he's like, oh, and he do this, and then he flipped into the Tommy mode. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> how I handled it, it was so positive. He was like, "Are you a natural?" You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So definitely Joseph Zakor. Um Oh, you say he went right into Tommy. So yeah, he's, he's like, what the fuck you didn't tell me? <laughs> like, it was crazy. Uh, um, <clears throat> definitely Joseph Zakor. Um, I got to go, I got to go face to face. I got to go neck to neck. You know, it's, it's the Kobe versus Mike. I got to go Denzel versus Wes. You know right. what I'm saying? That's um, solid. I got to. Um, female, I have to step in the ring with the best. Viola Davis, I have to mm -hmm. do that. You know what I'm saying? She hollered um, <clears throat> Yeah, Viola and uh, I, I'm gonna name one more woman. Uh, Carrie Washington. Mm. You know, Carrie Washington. She made me a true fan, man. With um, the one show, uh, um, the president. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, no. man, it was, we watch it all the time. Um, you know the name. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She like those two women, like because they so dominant in the scenes, mm -hmm. like. You know, I definitely, I definitely want to step in there. I definitely want to step in the mat in the in the ring with, with her, her. Yeah. and uh, and bounce that energy around. What's All right. Happening? Okay, will you see yourself in the future doing how far? Which, which how far you you know? Um, oh, this is life. Yeah. So, do you want the near future? Do you want five years from now? Do you want? We're gonna say years? five years. We're gonna say five, five years. In five years, in five years, I will be accepting a glow a Golden Globe. And or Oscar, my man, I will. Five years. In five years, y'all heard it here first. Listen, <laughs> in five years, listen. This is this isn't an overconfident interview. I know the work that I put in. Mm. I know the work that I put in. I know the work that I put in. Um, I leave my mark just like a dog would on a fire hydrant. There you go. If you don't want to work with me, it's because there's something wrong with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Flat Just off. being honest. If you don't want to work with me, there's something wrong with you. And I'm saying that so res respectfully. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I'm only going to make you better. Mm -hmm. I'm only going to make you better. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm nowhere near where I want to be. But I know the work I know the work that I put in I know the work that I put in and it would actually if I had a camera that's, that 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 follow me that's trying to she, she my wife she's sitting out here in the next room if she could she if she could come in here right now and really tell y'all the amount of hours that I put in front of the mirror the camera like it'll really surprise it it'll really make people like step it up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It'll really make people um, 
Appreciate get in their craft. And they not not not, not just appreciate you don't have to appreciate me. Right? <laughs> you don't. No, right. but what I am saying is the work that our late great Kobe put into this, into mm -hmm. his career, is equal. equal. <laughs> it's equal. It's equal. If not, if it, I mean, it's equal. It's hard. It's tough. Like I'm, 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 I'm saying that respectfully. Mm. I put work in. That's what's up. All right, now this is my bucket list question. I always ask everybody the same question. Fuck it. The age you at nine, mm -hmm. what would you tell your 18 year old or 21 year old King Wesley? As far as advice in being an entrepreneur or uh, finding a purpose or trying to find a way. Well, I ain't shit but 28. But that would be 10 <laughs> years ago, right? <laughs> I ain't shit but 28 years ago. I wouldn't tell myself 10 years ago, right? Go yeah, hard. Go you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, what, what you got to tell what I Because, would you know, we talk to the, the, the youth a lot, and I talk to the youth a lot. Right. And, you know, I, I have some of them saying they want to be an actor, they want to be this, they want to be that. Mm -hmm. What would you tell, if you was in the crowd listening to you, yourself, what would you, what would the advice you would give to it? Yeah, if I'm asking, like, if I'm answering yeah, a younger yeah, person myself, myself yep. that want to be an actor, listen, man, you got to really, you got to keep that skin, you got to make your skin so tough. Mm -hmm. And your mind have to be, like, even tougher. You know what I'm saying? Because we hear no so much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, in 90% of this industry, you get told no. Mm. Like, you get told no regardless of you like, man, I, well, I just killed. I, you can just walk off a stellar performance and go audition for a, another role, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not that you did anything wrong. It's just this role was not for you. Mm. And you got to really like the person that they give it to you, the person that they end up giving it to, like, this motherfucker's not even as good as you. <laughs> right, right. But it's other factors that come in. So mm. you really got to understand this is a business versus anything else. It's, it's, it's a business. Like, you really have to know that. Like, don't take it personal. <clears throat> it, this, it will, this, 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 this business will, it's either going to build you. Or it's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just, if you're really in for it, just do be, it. just, just be, just do it. Like, and, and your support system, like be mindful of who, you, who, who's going to be around for that support. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Who's really giving you that inspiration to keep going. Oh, right. You know, I got hired at Mercedes Benz and my wife that I'll be married to. 10 years this August 8th, right? Mm -hmm. She told me, she was like, how you gonna do that? She was like, so Mercedes Benz? Yeah, we gonna, we gonna have Benzes. Mm -hmm. One way or the other. <laughs> right. But she's like, is Mercedes Benz your end story? Right. We're building the engines? You are gonna be an engineer working for Mercedes Benz? That's your end story. Mm -hmm. That's deep. That's deep. All right, Kenny, let's see. Uh, if people wanted you to, uh, how can people get in contact with you? Man. If they wanted you to feature or do a walkthrough or, you know, anything of that nature. Well, what, right now I ain't walking through nowhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that's well, he in his help, y'all. He in his help. Yeah, he yeah, ain't yeah, playing yeah. with this COVID, y'all. No, I'm not playing with this COVID. <laughs> but no. for a few, you know, people no. want to get in touch um, with you. I'm definitely, man, you can you hit, you can inbox me at um, King Wesley on Facebook. Um, King Wesley Official on Instagram. Um I do have my manager. Shout out to Susan Barr over at um, Apollo Management Entertainment. Uh, Apollo Management Entertainment. I think it's entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, I just signed with them like last week. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. shit. Good so shit. So I do got. I do have management now, like real proper management. She's uh, Michael Wright. Michael Wright was Eddie Kane from the Five Heartbeats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's his wife. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So you in there? You yeah, in there? Yep. Yeah, yeah. We working, man. Uh -huh. So. What's your uh, Instagram again? Uh, my Instagram is King Wesley Official. And your Facebook is man Spam Risk be they be <laughs> they be disrespectful. My Insta Instagram is King Wesley Official. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, Instagram is King Wesley Official, and my Facebook is King Wesley. My man. All right, now this 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 one here, y'all. I'm gonna get them. Okay, King, we gonna we gonna we gonna end it like this. We are gonna put you in your little mode. 
Say I'm, I owe you some money. I'm from the east side. And you going to your mole. What would you do? And I ain't came up with your money in about two months. Two months. Listen, one thing about it. See, two months. No, we want to see some acting now. We want to see some acting. No, 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 no. <laughs> see, two months ain't gonna piss me off. A see, year then. You really? A year. year. You see? <laughs> now look. This is what he was supposed to say. It's been two months. Mm -hmm. Past due. You've been calling me. I ain't picked up. You just heard and seen me on Facebook and Instagram <laughs> flossing, spinning his bread. See, he ain't gave me that. But I'm. <laughs> You know I had to put you. <laughs> this is my guy though, y'all. Check look, out uh, his movie, um, Price of Love. Price of Love. You can check me out on Tubi TV, right? Mm -hmm. Google Play and Amazon Prime. Oh, it's right on now. Google Play too. Yeah. Okay. And be on the lookout for First Lady Three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shot by my man's Dennis Reed and uh, Dimes. Dimes is brought to you by Darren Brown. My man. Yeah. Well, I would have gave, gave y'all something. Then y'all be like, man, man, he gonna work for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he ain't get to us, y'all. But I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you uh, taking this interview. Um, my man King, man, we go way back, y'all. This, this, this is a good twenty plus years here, y'all. All right, so uh, let me flip this. Let me flip this. Let me yeah, flip we, this. we gonna give a shout out to all our fairs people, big rappers people. Let's flip this. Let's flip this. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna interview you. Uh huh. You see me today? Uh huh. All right. We've been knowing each other well over twenty years. Twenty now. years plus, yeah, yeah. I mean, what, 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 what would you give me from a big brother status? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, what motivation would you give me? Like, the 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 eighteen year old when you, when you met me. You know, what would you tell him then, and what would you tell the? You know what? You know what, King? I, honestly, by me knowing you and your background. I wouldn't give you no advice because what you've been through now is making the person you are today, especially in the acting. Because I'll be watching your movies, man. It's like it's natural. Is is you? You really not playing nobody else. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I watched this one uh, video. You really? I can't. I can't honestly say. Um, I can give you any advice because the road you took, it landed you to where you at now. You know, I'm I'm, I'm watching the growth in your acting and. How you you know perceive yourself, or not even perceive yourself, but I, I couldn't give you no advice because um you're doing it. I mean, like I said, the path you went through in life, West Side, and what you've been through, and losing your partner, like I lost a friend of mm -hmm. mine, and right, um, it just builds you up to where you at now. You know, it's like everybody say when they see you acting, even other actors, oh man, you're a natural because that's what you've been through. You right. automatically been through that. You right. know, it's just like me on the basketball court. I ain't played in three years. And uh, I went to the gym yesterday, not putting myself in it, but I went to the gym yesterday and guys was actually worried about me. Like, I'm really going to do something. I ain't played in three years. Mm -hmm. but You still hit that yeah, one little yeah, bucket yeah. on me two years ago. Like, <laughs> but they worry about what's in their mind or what I used, used to, do. to do. Yeah, right. so I can't really give you no advice, man. I'm proud of you. I, I can honestly say, it. man, uh, I'm proud of you, man. I see the growth and um, five years I'm going to be looking for you to go get that uh, award, man. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. I'm going to get it. Yep, yep. I'm and going to get uh, it. like I say, man, I, advice? Nah, nah, nah. The the route you took is perfect. It, it's a story behind it. You know, you could you can actually make write your own movie. You know what I mean? So um, it's deep, and I and I have a lot of time on my hands to be watching. I watch you from afar, but like I said, I'm proud of you, man. Appreciate I really am. Appreciate it. Appreciate yep. it. Appreciate and I appreciate it. you uh, taking this this interview, man. Y'all go to my YouTube channel. Everybody I interview, man, I, I'm promoting everybody this month. I'm putting them on my YouTube channel, which is Save Detroit with the periods. S period, A period, V period, E period, Detroit. Uh, King is our, my number six. So I'm proud of him. Uh, check out his movie, Price of Love. Mm -hmm. uh, he got some more stuff coming up too. So y'all yep. just be ready. And in five years, y'all heard it here first. So when he get this award, y'all got to say, we heard it on John Save Detroit TV. We're going to clap it up right now. We're going to clap it up right now. Let's go. All right, my dog. Appreciate you, man. <laughs>